Alrighty, welcome back. Today's video, we're jumping into section 31. There's two different sections for 31. Vans doesn't make it very clear. There's a 31Q and a 31 with no letter. Uh, the Q is for quadrant. We're not doing quadrant. We're planning on doing the standard push-pull engine controls. Um, so jumping into section 31 and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So first little helpful hint uh, is with this little guy here. So this piece of angle we made earlier on in the section, they had us drill just one hole at the very end and then a spacer with one hole drilled at the very end. And the idea here um, is after you get all this in here, or that one hole lines up right there. So the idea here is you Clico that one in place and then you're able to then match drill um, both of the pieces together onto this assembly. Uh, but the issue, the, uh, the, um, the problem I was running into uh, was that the little spacer kept falling out. So got them stuck together with double-sided sticky tape and you'll probably see those Sharpie marks on there. Just wanted to make sure that I'd have nice and centered holes if I was to follow this plan and do this as I thought uh, the instructions intended us to do, uh, which the, the holes will line up perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one click out there and then we'll get it mass drilled. We'll mass drill as well. Uh, that hole there, which I've already done a pilot for with a long drill bit uh, through the top. So I'll be able to come in um, through the front here and drill into that front leading edge there. So anyway, that's the plan. Not doing this on camera. I am on a real big time crunch. So uh, that is it. Next time you see it, we'll have holes in. sitting in the plane for the first time. Uh, but we we're mass drilling. So uh, those parts earlier that I was fluting, they kind of match the curve underneath here. They do not have holes in them originally. Um, so basically held it up firm up against this front face as well as top skin. Mass drilled that top line of, uh, of holes for rivets. And then I just mass drilled all of the number 19 screw holes. And then after this, I'll go ahead and 
mass drill that to net plates because I'll have to have net plates uh, behind here for the panel to mount to. So pretty cool, but pretty cool to be sitting in the, uh, in the plane for the first time. Pretty neat. You'll see I have it riveted on to, or not riveted, Clicoed on temporarily just to the front assembly here. This makes it so much easier uh, to do all this bucking because it was so lightweight. I had it kind of perched up on those blocks because you have that uh, little bottom bracket that gets in the way of just putting it on the workbench. Anyways, it, very, it wants to move around on the workbench. Uh, but Clicoed down in location, I did the other side just now doing this uh, the side rib. And it worked so well. I didn't have to use straps because it's, of course, sucked into the side there, held in place um, with those quickos along that channel. So anyways, holds it very nicely and secure. So I'll finish riveting this. And then, of course, after, I'm not gonna finally rivet it to this bottom run here. But anyways, I'll remove it after the fact. Uh, but anyways, holds it nicely in place, makes things very easy to rivet. it was a really refreshing section to get to uh, after such a long section 29 uh, but nice easy straightforward um, but yeah real happy with how it turned out so next section will be section 32 uh, tail cone so tail cone sitting over there this whole assembly here is about to get very very long uh, so looking forward to doing that yeah so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions comments concerns feedback or you just want to say hi say hi down in the comments down below and we'll see you in that next video adios